There was some time ago since I actually touched upon Ghost Recon Wildlands Ghost War. And the reason why is fairly simple. I do consider the best part of Ghost Recon Wildlands and Breakpoint, for that matter, be the campaign. So, of course, the campaign is what holds my interest. But as of late, I have found myself unwilling to progress in the campaign unless I am actually using the Rainbow Six Siege icons, and I don't have that many of them. I got a pity crate uh, that I got from collecting a bunch of prestige crates recently, and in that I got both Valkyrie and Tuchanka, and I'm basically like, oh, so this is the pity crate for basically all the duplicates I had to endure in the prestige crates. Either way, you can grind them, grind the, every single crate through gameplay, but it takes a whole lot of time. And I'm not really keen on spending that much time, to be Vendor fucking honest. So, rather, we are going to uh, try and play a couple of games here. We're gonna complete the daily assignment, which is win with uh, a support class. And fortunately, I play a mean scout. Today we are gonna defend the radio, meaning that we are going to be um, finding the enemy. On the ping, they're going center. And we are going to... We got one going down the right flank. If I'm doing my job correctly, the rest of the team should are to know exactly where the enemy is bound to appear. So I think we're gonna actually going to uh, jump into that tower. We've got enemy activity. Marking position now. Because that tower is going to be a good, good spot to uh, put down some fire or keep a lookout for the enemy, while at the same time not being the easiest place in the world to. Sadly, we don't have any mines. If we had any mines, we could actually. Get a generator. Fire. Enemy down. Like I said, we do have, we don't have a clear path to one of them here. Frag out, I it, we, fuckers. I think we're gonna have company here. Soon. I can hear someone running below me. And I wouldn't be. But uh, then again, I think my teammates would actually see if... Taking fire. That's one dead. Yeah, they're... On the ping. He's in the open. Damn it. I thought I was in, I thought I was in cover there, but uh, I wasn't in cover. So, I basically got that. Good. Enemy forces have been neutralized, and we have won our first game as support. And to be honest, we did a lot of supporting. Now, you might be wondering why uh, you don't... I don't think you have seen a single video of me playing the Ghost Recon Breakpoint Ghost War. Now, I'm going to be telling you why. And the reason is fairly simple. I like this idea that everyone in this team and the enemy team has a role to play. I scout the enemy. That's my job. So I scout the enemy, I find their positions, I relay them to the rest of the team, and I have a decent weapon for self-defense. That is the scout's role. That is my role in the great scheme of things. Now, Got enemy Breakpoint just takes now. all of that away. Everyone just runs around with an AR and a sniper rifle. I don't see the fun in that. Because there's no balance to it. There's no 
trade-offs. There's just people that are competing in either rushing each other with the AR or sniping from concealed positions. And I don't see the appeal. I really don't. Two of them in the house on ping. One nearby. One near the ping. Moving out towards the houses. The drone's fucked up. They're jamming us. They have a jammer. And that, that is also something I do like. Like, there's a class that can jam drones. And he's actually useful in situations like that. Because now I have to be mindful of where he is if I'm going to keep supplying my team with that precious, precious intel. Meanwhile, I'm staying back here to uh, not only wait for the next drone and be, be reasonably safe when I'm using it, but also because I want to see if it's going to be sneaking up. And yes, I am using the MPX because that is Valkyrie's weapon of choice. Fuck, drones, drone got stuck. So, first of all, I'm going to... on the roof, on the roof. Hostiles lost visual. I'm moving, cover me. On the roof near ping. Now, we could actually try and, nah, there's no, there's, there's no cover whatsoever there. They got me Shit. pinned down. Man down. <sighs> Frag out. Going to frag the fucker. A lot of fire over here. Frag out. I don't see how to, how on earth. Heads up. We got how we got out fire. There. Man down. Man down. Okay. Probably gonna stay there as well, sir. Are going loud. I need to be careful. Nice. There's a mine. Get your ass up. Come on. Get up. I still got adrenaline, so let's use use that to our advantage. But there's f like three minutes left in the round, so. He's gone. One of them is moving towards our spot. Got anti-personal mines over here. Frag out. All up. Just a flesh wound. Shit. Man down. What? Not again. <laughs> All right. Let's see if we can can uh, do something. Got him. I don't know why I asked. Oh wait, there we go. I don't know how or why I asked. All friendlies down. Objective is lost. Yeah, that didn't go well. <sighs> so let's see if we can't break even. So let's scout their positions and relay it to the enemy. Yes, I said that correctly. We're gonna relay their positions to the enemy. It is that simple. We are gonna relay it to, to them. All joking aside, let's just do it. Send those radio transmitters at all costs. Push up and get it done. Deploying drone. I do wish to. They're moving in on this side near the containers. Three of them near the ping. One in the open. They're in the open. 
One in the back. Pushing from Harmony. He's pushing into the building. He's in the building, second floor. Grenade! Grenade! They aren't bad at playing aggressive, I, I'll give them that. Taking fire, fucking hell! Fuck it. Let's go around. Damn it, I thought it would still be here, but no. Not. Building, ground floor. Yeah, that didn't work so well, but at least we did the call-outs. Not that I think it helped, but uh, we'll see. The Predator's a pretty decent class. So, uh, he might be able to actually revive us. Hopefully he doesn't revive me first, as I haven't been used this round. But then, uh, ba Basically, while my knowledge of this game is a bit dated, I can say for sure that uh, if there's one thing you don't want, it's um, to face a predator, a predator with adrenaline. If the predator has adrenaline, you just want to stay out of his way. However, the enemy has, enemy has now forced his hand. He doesn't really have a choice in the matter. Got him. That was pretty fun. Well, sadly, that means we are gonna have to be going to another round since we need to win two rounds with um, a scout or a support. Unless we win two rounds, we're we ain't getting it, so we are just gonna keep it, keep on going here. I don't actually mind that. Also, one of the things that Ubisoft got a bit got a lot of flack for, uh, but that I think actually has turned out for the better, is the fact that the matches are hosted by the players, and this is something that was disliked almost universally. And Ghost War was released. It was like, why can't you just give us dedicated service, Ubisoft? Oh fuck you and everything like that. You know the drill. But the thing is, we are we're gonna rehost. We're gonna make sure we start off fresh with a new batch of players. Uh, the thing is, now that the game isn't all that popular, it is probably a lot easier for Ubisoft to actually keep the game going. And I I can only say that is a good thing. And we'll see here. It's gonna be basically be two minutes here. So, either way. Pardon me for just putting up the splash screen in between, but... Uh, basically... It looks like this. Wildlands does seem to have a bit of a cult following, especially in terms of both the single player campaign and people who do still play the Wildlands Ghost War. And I can't really hold that against anyone, really. Just gonna. Yeah, we can actually have an MPX that doesn't look like. It was dropped in something. You can have a lot of other stuff as well, but let's just uh, drop. Yeah, we'll get just get the Coyote, Coyote Brown. So basically, this is elimination, young best, base, best of three. This might already be a game in progress, so we're gonna be switching back here. Scout, um, loadout. 1911, Drone Pallet, MPX. Now it's important for us to uh, keep an eye on the score. Hunter 
Come down and eliminate hostile forces. Okay, so basically the enemy won one round. And uh, we're gonna see if we can take this round. This is, this is also one of the things that goes toward us well. And that is very different biotones, like... Enemy drone. Watch it. Jesus fucking Christ. Some of, the, some of the maps will be on uh, deserts, some of the maps will be on plains, cities, and then we have or factories like the last map, and we have these absolute beast jungle maps that can be really tense with people sneaking around and you can really stay in cover here. All you, and all you basically have to do is not move. That much. Sorry, mate. I do not have time to play siege right now. They got me pinned down. Let's go there and frag the fucker. We'll go through the house. Ah, fuck. There's a mine. I should have seen that mine far, far before I did. But it didn't work all that well. We'll just have to see how our assassin. Signal from the recon tower. It'll be active soon. There's at least two of them there. Heads up, enemy drone. Here we go. Frag out. I don't think they secured the kill there. Now we are losing this rather badly, I might add. And with the assassin just waiting off his adrenaline in the bush, I can't really see it going any other way. I didn't warn him. Let's quit this patch and uh, simply turn to another one. Like I said, we do need another... At least one more victory with a scout class. And we don't actually need to win an entire match, we just need to win a, a round. So, we got that going for us, which is nice. But we still have to wait and see if we are going to be getting this or not. So, I'm just gonna breathe in, breathe out, and apparently, yeah, we are actually, oh crap, we are gonna be phasing off against a pre-made team here, aren't we? Yes, we are gonna be phasing off against a pre-made team that not only are going to dictate everything else, they are also going to dictate the rather lovely fact that we are gonna be playing Elimination. Now, the map itself is not all that bad. The map is actually decent in that enemy snipers seem to have the advantage here, but it's not the case. As long as you advance for the first line, enemy snipers are usually at a distance. But this also puts a bit of a pressure on me. 
And I need to find those fuckers and do it rather quickly. So now that we are behind the cover, we can launch the scout drone. Amount to the, the enemies. Demo is set. Got the C4 in place. Yeah, they're, st they're still in the tree line. So what I really should be doing is advance woods. Because I am not going to be Demo is primed and ready. doing well out in the open. In, Let so, me place a mine over here. But as I stated earlier, if I would have, I would have liked to see one Yo, thing in the scout class. That is actually, I would have loved the um, more stamina. The scout should have far more stamina than they do He's dead. currently. And the reason for that is, the scout needs to be mobile. The scout needs to be able to keep up with a lot of the different classes. And I would also like to see the scout have more versatility in terms of using the binoculars. Picking up a signal from the recon tower. It'll be active soon. Now we can, of course, use the binoculars in this way, but with more stamina we could cover more ground while doing so. Now we're not going to be rushing into... Drone. Watch it. ...rushing into danger here, but we are more going to try and be a nuisance in their flank as it is. And for that reason, I'm actually not going to be launching my scout drone, because I don't want this drone to give... Uh, never mind, I'll just do it. I'll let it go. I'm pinned down here. I want to see where... if they have any... We're almost out of range for Tony. That's interesting. We have actually one on the hill behind us. But he's not really a threat to us at his, as it stands. Shit, I'm pinned! Taking fire! Shit, but he might down. be... He looks like to be a threat towards any, everybody else. Fuck, I'm doing this wrong. But I should have been I doing... Got you. I should not have been... Going in the open there. Get into cover. Hit the shadows. And from now on, we are less banned. I think they're gonna be knowing that we are gonna be trying to outflank them either way. So, uh. Drone overhead. Man down, man down. Take the frags fire. and move up. I do know that they had a guy in this vicinity. Or of course, one of ours just disconnected. Taking fire, I'm fucked! You're the only one left. Okay, so we have adrenaline rush now, and we are t too far away to realistically. All friendlies down, objective Yeah, lost. that didn't work well. Like I said, this is not really the ideal circumstance for me to be grinding prestige points, because the prestige points actually assume actually play the game 
L. And so far, I'm not really doing a killer job in playing the game well. I am somewhat tempted to just switch to the artillery for, for this one. Because uh, the artillery is actually quite decent. Now... Uh, Decent way to just claim. Ah, we'll, we'll keep going with Valk. Since that is what we have been using. But. Hunt down and eliminate hostile forces in the area. As usual, everything is now very much flipped. Do moving right. The reason they are moving right is uh, because they want to secure the high ground. Enemy drone airborne. And now they they actually got a scouting drone. That's quite interesting. Now what we're gonna do is fall back deeper into the forest because from that hill they can actually fire down at us. We don't want that to happen. Frag out! Got a mark. Marked. Good, Picking then we know we the have at car. least one yeah. enemy sniper there. I don't know if he has a flank cover or not, but if these guys play well, they, they should have a flank cover standing by on, on the guy. And I'm not talking about mines here, because mines are finicky when it comes to... We've got enemy activity. Here we go! Frag out! We need to stay in the shadows. That's going to be essential, yeah. Because trust me when I say a person is a lot harder but in the shadows they think. Also being at the top of the hill in this case is not an advantage for the enemy. The recon tower is back online. Since we had sound signal that enemy indicated Watch it. the enemy was nearby, we need to be very, very careful here. And the, the problem is I can't even get a drone going, because if I do, I might reveal my position, and that would be not fun. Going loud. Still Go. firing from the ridge. So what we're gonna be trying to do is move up to that ridge I'm in the face. Now we want to stay as far away as to not be noticed. Heads up, we got enemy. Taking heavy fire! Ah crap, we actually moved. I think we might down. actually have uh, moved past what amounted to an enemy sniper and missed him. Yeah, I'm on it. Get down here! <sighs> One of the nice things about playing the scout is that they are really, really good in close combat. 
He's, he's heading towards us. He's still there. Man down. Enemy position located. Picking up a signal from the recon tower. It'll be active. Alright, get up. I didn't actually well, see that he that he got hit. But what we should be doing is wait out. Okay. I would have preferred to wait out his adrenaline, but uh, we can take we can take the fight to him certainly. I think he's going to be trying to cool himself. Not a bad idea. Really. He's lying down on the rock, on the ping. He's still there. Just keep hitting him. Enemy forces neutralized. Job. Well, that went a lot better. Now that we don't need to play a support class, let's just have fun with it the last one. Glory to the Lord. It would really be nice to if we could just hunt down and eliminate hostile forces in the area. Just kick them in the groin. Especially since they have a clan tag and everything. Since we are playing a tank now, we are going to uh, be more center stage. We also have a bit more of a decent weapon. Enemy drone, watch it. The tank has a very interesting ability that is very, very useful. And uh, that means I can divert the fire, I'm I can divert the enemy intel. And the effect on this is that not only do I have heavy armor to, su to survive the enemy attack. Shit, taking fire. Man down, man down. But I can also make the enemy see me. So if an uh, enemy gets detected, then what happens? What the? My control just froze up. I have no idea how that happened. It might be that the mine was delayed, and that I hit the mine, but I don't think so. Well, at least one of our guys is gonna, going to be revived now, so... That is also something that makes Wildlands very, very interesting from a gameplay standpoint, and that is the... Drone. Two of them at this location. Stop. All three of them. Taking fire, fucking Take hell. Recon power is back online. <sighs> One hostile remaining. That's, That's nice. Attack. The Echelon got a couple of kills. 
He's right there. Ain't nothing. Enemy forces neutralized. Ah. Great job. We actually got the bastards. That's really nice. Glory to the Lord. I really like the fact that the Lord has the very much appropriate victory emote for that one. And now they have left the match. They do not want to play again against us. Gee, I wonder why. I mean, if you're in a pre-made like that, you pretty much do want to just get stuff done. So let's have a look. I should have earned enough for another prestige crate here. So we're gonna see what I'm gonna get out of it. Fish crate, unlock, unlock successful, go to the crates page, open the crates. And we got a fucking voice line. All that for a fucking voice line. And here, my friends. It's why I would very much just like the um, Rainbow Six icons just appear in the store. Just let me buy them. I'm asking you, Ubisoft, to allow me to give me your money. Sorry, give me my, give you my money. Anyhow, you, getting late. I'm not gonna bother more with this. Toodles, my friends.